Hello students, we will be learning about meteoroids, asteroids and comets in this section. Meteoroids are small fragments of rock and debris in space are called as meteoroids. Okay, so meteoroids are small fragments of rock and debris. Debris is nothing but small dust particles. When they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up in the atmosphere due to friction and a streak of light is produced. So, we all know that Earth has a layer of air around it and that is called as the Earth's atmosphere. And whenever these small rock fragments enter the Earth's atmosphere, they burn up. Why do they burn up? It's due to friction with the gas particles in the atmosphere and a streak of light is produced. They are also known as shooting stars. So let me show you an image of the meteor. So this is a real meteor that has been collected. This is a space rock. Okay. And when they fall into the Earth's atmosphere, they look something like this one. So you can see a streak of light is being produced. This is because the meteorite has come in contact with the atmosphere and is burning up. Next, let us move on to asteroids. Asteroids are small rocky celestial bodies revolving around the sun. Okay, so small rocky celestial bodies revolving around the sun are called asteroids. Most of them are located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So, in between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, we have asteroids. Let us take a look at this. So, here we can see the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. So, this one is the orbit of Mars. You can see Mars here. And this is the orbit of Jupiter. You can see Jupiter here. In between, you can see many tiny particles. Tiny when compared to the planets. Okay. So, you can see many particles. That is called asteroids. And this layer is called the asteroid belt. Let us go back. Yeah. Now, know this. The elliptical path followed by a celestial body revolving around the sun is called an orbit. So, the path that is followed by a celestial body is called an orbit. Next, comets. A comet is an icy body that gives out gas or dust. They revolve around the sun. They can be seen in the night when they come close to the earth. So comets are icy bodies that revolve around the sun and they can be seen when they come close to the earth during night time. When they come close to the sun, they might produce a long tail. Okay, when they come close to the sun, they might produce a long tail which is made up of gas and dust particles. Some comets appear at regular intervals. Halley's comet appear once in 76 years. The last Halley comet appeared in 18, 19, 1986. Okay, so the last eight Halley's comet it appeared in 1986. When will it appear again? So you can do this maths and figure out when Halley's comet will appear again. They have said that it appears once in 76 years. And it has appeared already in 1986. So you need to add 76 to 1986 to figure out which year we will be able to see Halley's Comet again. Let me show you a picture of a comet. So this is an image of a comet. Observe how it has a long tail. Okay, so this is the end of this lesson. I will see you all in the next lesson.